one fisherman actually stood up and looked at me and pointed at me and said, you are the devil. It scared the daylights out of me. I was about 26 years old and I had gotten an internship with an environmental organization in the Caribbean. And I was like total dream job, right? And I was tasked with working with a local community to help establish a new marine protected area. And early in the first few weeks of my internship, I was invited to a community meeting. I was super excited. I went in there into the room and I recognized there was a lot of tension in the room. The back of the room was packed with angry, angry fishermen. There was a lot of discontent. It was very, very clear. And when I stood up to speak, I talked about wanting this to be an inclusive process for it to be community driven, but I don't think the fishermen really bought it. They didn't really believe me. You know, they didn't know me. Um, they didn't. They didn't trust me because I work for an environmental organization. They thought I may have like an anti-fishing agenda. And one fisherman actually stood up and looked at me and pointed at me and said, you are the devil. It scared the daylights out of me. He said this in front of the entire meeting and I could have walked right out the door and gone on a plane and gone home, but I didn't. I was totally hooked because I thought, wow, this is what this is going to be about. It's going to be about people and that conservation. Whoa. Okay. It's about working with communities uh, that depend on nature. These were things I didn't know because I was fresh, you know, out of grad school at this time. So I was really excited and I was like all in on this. And so the next time I saw um, this fisherman that had called me the devil, I walked up to him, I got the courage to say, hi, I'm Stephanie, I'm the devil, which got a laugh from him. And actually I think it was enough to convince him to meet with me. And the next time we met was really the beginning of a very long and productive and meaningful relationship and ultimately a friendship that I still hear hold very dear. You know, but today I work with the science team at Conservation International, I lead the science team. And this is still an experience that I return to often. That is overcoming my very real fears and meeting that challenge head on, ultimately learning the critical role that communities play in conservation. I'm confident that just as I have, countless women and girls will continue to face and conquer the challenges that make a career in conservation science both rewarding and deeply inspiring.